How's it going everybody out there? My name is Jake James Lugo and welcome to the channel. And today, we're gonna talk about this thing right here. Now for anybody that didn't know, I actually did an unboxing and impressions of this chair that I'm sitting on over on the Coalition's website and their YouTube channel. I actually did it when they sent me this chair in order to kind of give my impressions and do a little review for them over on the website. Even though that was the case, I actually wanted to do a video in my style here on this YouTube channel for you guys to kind of give you my overall impressions. It might be a little redundant for some, but I figured, you know what, why not actually do this and provide that content for you guys. So anyway, let's get started, shall we? So the chair that I'm sitting on is called the Ewin Racing Gaming Chair. It's part of their championship series over on their website. Now the one thing I can't say about this chair is that it's very durable and it feels like it's very high quality in the way that it's made. It's just overall very comfortable to sit on. The one thing about gaming chairs like this is that their overall design end up being very similar between all these different companies that design chairs like this. It's very hard to tell the difference between different companies, especially when they look so very similar. A lot of the differences come from the different branding on the back of the chair as well as also on the side and some of the little things here and there in the way that they're made. But the Ewing Gaming Chair I feel like is very comfortable, I feel like it just was very easy to put together. It wasn't something that feels very stiff, it feels like I could just lean back and use the levers and do all this different stuff in order to feel comfortable when I'm playing my games on my TV or if I'm actually using my computer or anything that, you know, that requires me to sit down and actually be in front of a monitor for an extended period of time. Now the chair that I was sent from Ewin Racing in order to do unboxing impressions for the Coalition was the blue version of the Championship Series chair. They do have variations of different colors, but overall the main design of the chair is very similar. It's almost uniform throughout. You're gonna get all the same functions no matter what color skew that you get. Putting together the chair was fairly easy. It comes with easy to follow instructions right out of the box. And when I was actually putting everything together, it only required just snapping a few parts together and using that screwdriver that comes in the box to make sure that things stay in place. This is a very high quality chair it's not like it's gonna fall apart immediately after a couple uses thank God because chairs like this could get very expensive so after putting it together I was very happy to know that my back and the rest of my body was supported when I first sat down in the chair it felt very comfortable with not only its material that I was using for the actual back part of the chair but also I felt like I wasn't really gonna like drop down I wasn't gonna sink down there was nothing like really hard on my back especially when I was leaning back in order to try it out and move around a little bit that was pretty damn cool the other thing too is that like most chairs that are constructed like this, this chair can swivel, can move around, it can actually lean back without actually having to pull the whole back part of the chair back with the lever. There was a lot of different functionality and different movements I could do, and that felt very comfortable, especially if I'm sitting down and playing a long gaming session, either on my PlayStation or my Xbox or my Nintendo Switch. I feel like I can move around and fidget without having to worry of like actually being feeling uncomfortable or doing something that the chair wasn't really designed for. I was also very appreciative of the wheels that are on the bottom of the chair. I felt like I could just move this around my room without a problem, without an issue. There was no squeaking or anything like that, so I didn't have to go in there and put like WD-40 or something. So that was pretty damn cool. But more importantly, it felt like if I needed to move the chair out of the way, if I had to like vacuum my room, or if I had to actually move it to a different spot to like be in front of a different table, I could do so without any worry of anything going wrong. Now my only major criticism about this chair and other gaming chairs that are constructed similarly to this is the armrest. I feel like that the armrest could be a little bit uncomfortable, especially because they're made out of that hard plastic. It is cool that they could be adjusted, they could be moved around, they could be kind of, you know, leveled up and leveled down in order to make sure that I'm very comfortable when I'm putting my arms on the sides, when I'm leaning back, or even when I'm just like sitting straight up with the chair. However, because the armrests are made out of that hard plastic rather than the actual same material from the back of the chair, it makes it a little bit uncomfortable for me. Maybe some of you guys go through something similar or at least feel similar in some way, but I feel like, you know, comfort should be of the utmost importance in a chair like this. Again, it'll take away a little bit from the durability of this gaming chair, but I want to be comfortable in every part of my body when I'm sitting on a chair like this, especially if I'm going to be sitting for an extended period of time. Other than that one thing, there isn't really anything bad about this chair. Most of the actual functions and features of the Ewin gaming chair is pretty damn good, and I would recommend it to anybody in the market for a good gaming chair. I know there's a lot of gaming chairs out there, there's all these different brands all over the place offering pretty much the exact same thing between all of them, but if you want my overall thoughts about the Ewin gaming chair, at least what it has to offer, I still think it's pretty damn good. So anyway guys, those are my thoughts about the Ewing Gaming Championship Series chair. Again, I know this was a little bit redundant for some people. If you want to see my full unboxing and impressions, check the description box down below for all the stuff that I put over on the Coalition website and on the Coalition YouTube channel. But I still wanted to give you guys this type of content here on this YouTube channel to kind of, you know, flex my creative muscles a little bit and just offer you guys some more great content. 
Either way, let me know what's up in the comments section down below. Tell me about some of the gaming chairs that you guys have tried out. If you like the Ewin gaming chair, or is there any other brand that you guys really want to check out? Let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this one, all my gaming reviews, all my podcast shows, and all the other great stuff that I have to offer for you guys here on this channel. And don't forget guys, I am on Patreon. There's a link in the description box down below that goes directly to my Patreon page. For the dollar level tier or higher, you guys get a ton of exclusive content. There's a lot of exclusive interviews, a lot of early access videos, and a whole bunch of other great stuff I know you all are really gonna enjoy. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.